Hello gamers, my name is Rolizi, and I'm back today with another solo money glitch video. Now, this video is the same glitch that I posted last night, but last night was using the run method and the RH8. This time, we're still going to have the RH8, but we're going to use a caddy instead to get glitched out. And this is going to be called the caddy method, alright? So shout out to the uh, the founder, Zoomix Bruntango, and Glitch Squad. And guys, make sure you like the video, hit that blue thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. Now, here are the requirements. You want to be in an invite-only session, and you want an MOC with the personal vehicle storage, you need a free elegy inside of your MOC, and you want a retro custom or a Benny's vehicle in any one of your garages, that's going to be the car we're going to be duping. It doesn't have to have a custom plate, guys, not at all. It can have a regular generic plate. We get a new plate every single time. You want 10 piss washers and you want to be in a free aim session if you're an Xbox user because you're going to be joining a friend in a different targeting mode. Now check the plate out right here, 67 BPN 934. Remember that plate because that's going to be the plate that transfers over from our RHA, this, this car right here, to the retro that we're going to be duping. Now, when I, what I was saying before about the free aim session for Xbox, you're going to be joining your friend in a different targeting mode, and you're not literally joining him completely like joining his game. You just need him there. You, he doesn't even have to know that you're using him. You're just using him to do this glitch real quick. And for PS4, you guys can use a recent activity instead. You just activate the recent activity, and I do believe you just back out of the, uh, of the alert. And you'll see once we get to that point, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know. And you want your spawn location to be at the bunker, uh, just in case you do have to switch sessions. So what you're seeing right now is to start off the glitch, I actually have my MOC outside. That's what you want. You don't want your MOC to start inside. I mean, if you do, you'll end up spawning at the docks, which is okay. But then you'll have to actually go and you'll have to find a new session every time you want to go do this glitch. And it's kind of annoying. So do this method. Bring your MOC outside of your bunker and then simply drive it in or you can return it to storage. All right. And then you want to put your free elegy back in your MOC as you see right here. All right, this is for this method. We're going to be doing the caddy method. So now I'm just exiting my MOC and I'm actually going to make my way over to the caddies. Now you're going to want to jump in any one of the caddies. Doesn't matter which uh, model you have. It can be the cheap one or the expensive one. I've been using these cheap ones for a while. I think they're better maneuverability around the actual, you know, bunker. But for this glitch, they work out perfect. And uh, so yeah, so what you're going to want to do is you want to position yourself a little bit right here. Now I'm going to go in slow motion and I'm going to press Y and try to spam Y again. So we're spamming Y right here. But you saw that I got sucked into the MOC pretty much right when I put one, uh, one foot down. It sucked me into the MOC. That's not what you want. You know, you want to be able to actually get glitched out by going back to sit down on the caddy as it's trying to pull you in. That's how you get stuck on that infinite black loading screen. That is the name of the game to get glitched out. This is the hardest part of the glitch. Once you guys get glitched out, everything else is simple. As long as you follow the directions, nothing bad will happen. It'll be very, very simple. But if you do spawn on the MOC like I did, go ahead and get a, uh, the caddy again and run over to it. Now, this is going to be the successful attempt right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to position myself, and that's kind of how I was last time. And remember, don't do the same thing literally you did last time. Change it up a bit. So right here, I'm actually going to back up, and I'm actually going to turn the wheel, and I'm going to go a little bit diagonal into the, uh, the circle. Now, I'm going to hit Y, and then I'm going to hit Y again, but at the same time, I'm moving my left analog stick towards the caddy so that he can go to try to sit down. So here we go. I press it again, and you saw that? He turned, and he was about to go sit down. Now that's how you get glitched out. If you didn't see that, go back, you know, go back a little bit so you can really see it closely. But now we're stuck in this infinite black loading screen. So this is where if you're on Xbox, you're going to open up your dashboard and you're going to hit join friend. You're going to get an alert uh, that says, are you sure you want to join? Press yes. And then it's going to say uh, you're in a different targeting mode. That's where you're going to hit no. OK, and then that's what's going to spawn you right back down here. So let's see. So you hit yes here and then you hit no there. And then boom, you end up all glitched out. Now, that was the part that you would use for. Um, for PlayStation, you guys don't need to have a friend for this. You guys just need to use your recent activity. So activate one of the recent activities, hit play GTA online. Once you get the alert back out of it, and then you should end up in the same position as right here. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do, this is why we needed 10 piss washers is you need to actually go to your inventory, go to snacks and you want to start drinking and check it out. So you double click and you got to count. It's about, it's about five or six swigs that he's going to be taking. And uh, then he's going to drop the beer. Remember, double tap and hold uh, the A button, and that's how he's going to do it.
Now you heard that, that's exactly how it goes. So it's five or six swigs, and basically, once he drinks all that, he's gonna drop the beer, and then that's when you're just gonna hit double click again on the A button or X button on PlayStation, and keep drinking. And as you can see, we're gonna end up passing out right by the hospital. Now it's a little disoriented right here, it's never spawned me on this side of the hospital. Usually it's over there by the staircase. So, you know, got me a little confused, but it's all good. So now, as you can see, we're invisible and we're actually off the radar right now too. If you had any friends or anything in this session with you, they'd be, they wouldn't be able to see you at all. You're invisible, completely off the radar. All right. And so at this point, you're going to make your way. I was having some trouble actually finding the ladder. Uh, you know, when you're invisible, it's not the easiest thing. So, yeah, I had some trouble there, but now we're making our way up to the ladder. Reason we're going up here to the hospital is because there's actually a helicopter. Now, you don't want to jump into any cars. I do believe if you get into a regular car, you will get unglitched. I, I can't, I haven't confirmed that, but I'm not really going to try because it takes so hard to get, you know, it takes so long to get glitched out. Might as well just go and get a helicopter. It's faster, you know, and it's safe. I can promise you, you won't get unglitched by jumping into a helicopter. I do believe you can also take a taxi. So if you want to call a taxi or whatever, you can definitely do that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually flying over to one of my garages that I do know I have a retro Elegy there that I want to duplicate. Once again, you can duplicate any Benny's vehicle. I highly recommend only Benny's vehicles. Benny's vehicles sell for the most. You get 60% back of the upgrades you put into them. Supercars and sports cars, you can only sell one time, or you can only sell the uh, the original one time to get a max amount of the uh, price. After that, all the dupes are just worth like a hundred grand. It's really not worth it. When you can make a million dollars off of each retro, basically, why dupe supercars and sports cars? There is no point. Okay, so as you can see, we're still invisible. We're going into uh, our garage right here, apartment 28 for me over here at uh, Integrity Way. Now, don't be alarmed. Once you enter in your garage, you are going to be visible again, but it's only for a couple seconds. Once you keep walking, boom, you're back invisible again. You're still glitched out. Now, I wanted to find uh, I wanted to find a, you know, one of my cars in here that has a custom plate on it, not a generic one. So, I found this one. I got the uh, the virus plate on here, and you're just going to tap right trigger or R2 on PlayStation. Just tap it. Don't do anything else, and then open up your interaction menu the instant you get outside. All right? So, right here I'm opening up my interaction menu as quick as I could and request your MOC. Now, when you request your MOC, remember that plate? It was 67 BPN. Check it out now when I when I look at the plate on the car. Look at that, 67 BPN 934. That is the exact plate that was on the RH8. This is why you don't need custom plates, guys. This is a brand new clean duplicate, okay? It's completely clean, has a generic plate, but it's totally clean. Now, open up your interaction menu and you're gonna request your MOC once more. Now, once you request your MOC, you're going to simply just drive over to it and parking it inside of your MOC will save it. And the way you know that it's still glitched, and I really do love this glitch just because of what it has to offer, you know, what it does. I enjoy doing glitches for the most part. And yeah, so once you drive over here to the MOC, check out the, uh, the glitch cutscene that you will always get while doing this. Press right D-pad and look at that. Your car like falls and you're actually in the bunker for a split second, uh, you know, a couple seconds and you drive in there. Now, once you've done that, this car is completely saved. That's basically it. But like I said, I like to I like to actually show you the full tutorial and how you would be doing this back to back to back. Now, you saw how we spawned over here by the bunker. If we didn't take our MOC out in the beginning of the video, then we would have spawned over at the docks, which is OK. But you're really far away from everything, especially the bunker where we're doing the glitch. You want to spawn back near where we're doing the glitch. So uh, once you do that and you have the car saved, I drive it in and out twice just to be safe. Now, it's saved in inside of my MOC. So what I'm going to do now, if I want to actually keep duping, you know, and do another one is I'll call my mechanic and you can actually get a, a, uh, a free elegy from any one of your garages. So if you want, just fill up a whole garage with free elegies. So I'm just ordering one that I have in any random apartment. Doesn't have to be a full garage. It's nothing like the old glitches that we were doing before. Just grab a free elegy from any garage and you're just going to want to call it up. Now, once you call it up, if you do want, you can go ahead and look at the plate before you do the glitch so that you can see that that plate is the one that transfers. But you simply just have to grab your free LG right here and go ahead and drive it 
into the back of your MOC and you're going to see that message that says, do you want to transfer vehicles? You're going to hit yes on that. So press right D-pad and you're going to hit, yeah, sure, go ahead, transfer it. So what it did right here, it put that retro in that garage that you just called the RH8 from and now your RH8 is in here. And you know what? The MOC is outside already. You're ready to do the glitch again. That freaking simple, guys like completely simple you're ready you're ready now to do the glitch 100 not a lot of youtubers not a lot of people will post how to keep repeating this glitch and farm these uh these cars but i did this glitch way back and this is the method i was using i made a lot of money like this okay so that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like the video if you did enjoy it by hitting that blue thumbs up down below Hit the red subscribe button if you're new and you want to see more content like this. And make sure to turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. My name is Roll Easy, and I'm out of here, guys. Peace out.